Welcome to the Go Dyslexia webinars, where dyslexia experts share strategies, technology, products, and more. And now, your strategy and product guru, Dr. Erica Warren. Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Warren, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a free voice-to-text option that is now available on Google Docs. What is voice-to-text? Voice-to-text, or often referred to as dictation, is a type of speech recognition software or program that converts the spoken word to typed text. How can voice-to-text help? Voice-to-text can help individuals with dyslexia in a number of ways. First, it can resolve spelling problems. Individuals no longer have to spell words themselves, the computer will do it for them. In addition, it allows individuals to focus on the content of the document instead of the typing or spelling. This way they can really think about what they want to say. And finally, it actually keeps up with the writer's thoughts. Many times when typing, it's hard to keep up with your own thoughts. Now you can. I'm really excited to tell you that voice typing is a free voice to text tool in Google Docs. To access voice typing, you must be using two things. First, you need to have a Google Chrome browser. So you can always download those off the internet, but you have to be using that particular browser. You can't use Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari. In addition, you have to have a computer with a built-in or external microphone. So there are some steps that you have to go through in order to activate voice typing. First, again, as we were talking about, you have to have the Chrome browser, and then you have to open a Google Doc. Then you click on the Tools menu and select Voice Typing. After that, click on the pop-up microphone box that will appear on the screen. Then, speak your text as clearly as possible. Finally, when you're finished, click the microphone again. I have a number of tips for voice typing. First, To correct mistakes while speaking, highlight the error and fix it without turning off the microphone. In addition, you can add punctuation by saying the following words, period, comma, exclamation point, and question mark. In addition, if you want to go to a new line or a paragraph, all you have to say is new line and new paragraph. And now what I'm going to do is give you a quick demonstration. The first thing you have to do is click on the Google Chrome browser icon. That will uh, then open up Google or wherever you have your home page set to. I just happen to have it set for Google. I could type in Google Docs here, but another way to get to Google Docs is to click on this icon over here. And then to Docs. This allows me to create a new document. And if I want to turn on this technology, I go to Tools, and here it is, Voice Typing. Notice that this is the icon I was telling you about that uh, is created. As soon as I click on that, then it activates Voice to Text Speaking. So let's give it a shot. This is a test of Voice to Text Typing, period. New paragraph. It's a beautiful day, exclamation point. I simply clicked on this icon again to turn the voice to text off. I can turn it back on again just by clicking the item. Say that I wanted to add something in addition or I wanted to change something. All I have to do is click on the word. Lovely. And what it did is it changed it to lovely. Granted, we've got here a capital, so we don't want the capital letter here. We can just change that manually. But you can see you can do all sorts of great features with this. Uh, Let's try a little bit more. New line. What are you doing this weekend? Question mark. 
Will you be doing your homework? Question mark. Will you be watching a little bit of television? Question mark. So as you can see in this demonstration, it really is very accurate. Even though I was speaking quite quickly and not very clearly, it captured all of my words. So I hope this was helpful and uh, have a great one. Bye. Thanks for watching the Go Dyslexia webinars, where experts share strategies, technology, products, and more. If you want to check out our video podcasts, blog posts, and resources, go to godyslexia.com. Be sure to sign up for Dr. Warren's newsletter and follow us on social media.